Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of Danton vs Sporkbearer. So I, as you can see, I've put the brackets on here um, at the start of the video so that we can see what happened in the first round. There were some big surprises. Um, that there Phil going out in the first round with his Nurgle team to Jam Toast from Division 3. Um, we've got uh, Sickers Eggs. Wait a minute, oh my god, I've literally put the wrong one. Cicadez lost to Elados. <laughs> I literally just copy-pasted the wrong one. I literally said it's not Sicker's Eggs and then copy-pasted Sicker's Eggs. What an idiot. So Elados, Sicker's Eggs went out to Elados from Division 2. Um, then we've got... Obviously Kalon, massive upset, Kalon losing. Jetty Bear losing. So actually all four people from Division 4 got through the first round. And like several from uh, Division 1 lost. One, two, three people. Three people out of the five that played lost. <laughs> crazy, eh? And then three of them had buys. So that was pretty crazy. So yeah, it was a bit of a big upset, right? Sick had a pretty great team. So that, there's a little bit of the background thing. Didn't do any of the round of 32 games because uh, it was all over Christmas and I was playing the... Uh, I was playing in the Blood Bowl 3 thing, so there just really wasn't a lot of time to do those. Whereas now that we're on to the round of 16, there's a... Well, I can put it on so you can see the round of 16 is on there. There's some interesting matches. Elliot versus King Boo. Jamtos versus Hancock. Danton versus Spoke, which is this one. It's not sick. It's Elidos versus Pybot. Myself versus Antonis. PK83 versus Riley O'Cole Nami. Galentio versus Galabranth. And Riot Killer versus Battle Battle. Right, so now we get the game itself. We've got Danton. He was down so much TV that he was able to get Cheney, which is pretty crazy. That shows how scary this uh, Dark Elf team is. It's a lot better team than my Dark Elf team is now. <laughs> and uh, I think it was probably worse than my team was, but it's better than my team is now, right? We've got three Blodge Step Guard Blitzers is incredible. Movement up. Sidestep as well for the one turn. Two dodge guard linos. You know, decent witches, right? A mighty blower and a stripper, wrestle rackle stripper, lodge tackle. Really pretty nice team. Twelve players, uh three rerolls. So it's you know, mine had like thirteen players and four rerolls at one point, right? And had more strength and agility. Uh but this is really, really good. Really, really good. If if my witch was still alive, my team would still be better than this, I think, because the witch is that good. But my witch is dead, so I think this team is better than my team. Um, Danton's team, however, got crippled because he had a uh, he had another big death, similar to my witch death. He had a like tackle, pylon, mighty blow, juggernaut, white die, jump up maybe. I don't know. It was a really good white anyway. Whatever it was, his white died. He replaced it. He got guard. So you know he's he he's he's not that good on like the, a killer a full killer would be really good against this team right, and not having that is it does suck right like six six full killer basically you know okay he lost the game versus me but it basically won him the game versus me <laughs> it should have won him the game versus me and it killed my whole team he killed my playoff chances sick with one one player killed my playoff chances from sick as eggs and you know that's the quality of player that. Uh, that Danton lost. But you know, block and block guard are serviceable um, fleshies. And his walls are really nice, right? An edge up one and a mighty blow one. But obviously, both are a bit neutered versus this sidestep monstrosity and blodge. So, yeah, they're not that good in this matchup. He's got a dirty player and 14 players, so he, he might stick the boot in. The problem with Cheney is he just hasn't got that many zombies to foul with, right? So. Interesting, anyway. Super interesting. Did the witch die? <laughs> Might have mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> I mean, I only kept going on about it because... Because, uh... Because Sata mentioned it. And Dwyer mentioned it. Okay, no, Dwyer mentioned it. That's why I said it. But, yeah. Look, it's... It's, this is a really good team, right? Five guard in the three... All, three of them on Blitz is an amazing, right? With Bloodstone. It really is amazing. We're not carrying on the move up one. I'm not a fan of this. Like, you know, a guard ball carrier can be okay. 
Like you can hit, you can beat people off in me more easily. Um, there's no wizard for Danton. He's just got Cheney. I guess he wants to hand off to the witch at some point, right, and get her SPP. Uh, the future, but that's a bit greedy, right? You've just got to win. You've just got to win this game, right? Like you don't need to think about skinning up your witch and stuff or skinning anybody up. So with that, with that in mind, I would have definitely been carrying on the move up. Uh, just so you know, I could use my guards to do guardy things. This is a replay of Punter. Uh, yeah, Blood Bull. Blood Bull 2, Error BB. I don't like... So, this is one thing, right? This is one thing you can do, is put your blood steppers in front so that the, they can't get blitzed by wolves. But they can get blitzed by the tackler. And even though he's not mighty blow tackle... It's still not great getting them tackled, isn't it? So you've got to pick your poison, really. You either get a, you either get a guy picked off by Claw Mighty, or you just, you know, get somebody, get a better player hit by tackle. But obviously, you can't get fouled because he sidesteps back there. And if he blitzed this one, he would have sidestepped here or here and been hard to foul as well. So he's gone straight in. Just going straight in, Danton here. Probably wants to commit the wolves as well, right? Like you can't hold them back. I know he's got a mighty bull tackler there, but I think you have to commit them as well if you if you're going in here. I think it's not it's not good, right? You don't want to lose them, obviously. You still. And you still like, you know, you want to win this match, of course. But you also, you don't want to sacrifice your entire team to win this match, do you? So, it's a bit tricky. I like this wrestle, wrestle blitzing the wrestler, so it doesn't feel quite so bad if you, uh, if you get a both down. Cheeky stun. You know what's quite good about Blood Bowl 2 is seeing the different colours on the teams. Because <laughs> you can't do that on Blood Bowl 3, because Blood Bowl 3 is so hard to see what the hell's happening. You feel obligated to use red and blue mode. <laughs> Flip me. Oh, really jamming in hard. Okay, I quite I like that, right? It pushes... Pushes that out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Yeah, it's pretty hard to 1D the ball, isn't it? And like, you just get served if you do, so. Just gotta, uh. Just gotta pile in. I mean, he's heavily outguarded, isn't he? Five guard to three. <laughs> it's just. It's pretty tragic for the Necro. They, they need to, like get people on the ground and foul them. Like, again, if they just had that tackle pommer right, they'd be tackle pomming every turn. And then, uh, maybe getting something, but without the tackle pommer they hit every turn. It's, it's pretty grim for them. Pretty flipping grim. Ooh! Surely you put him in there to get the extra hit, right? Surely you put in the guard there to punch this guy. I don't like that. Don't like that from Danton. And then if you, you know, then depending where he sidesteps to, you can maybe even get a 1D, you can power him, you can even get a 1D. Oh, double one! Oh my god, double one at the KO. Well, there's a good lesson on not doing, uh, not doing greedy dodges. <laughs> uh, you know, had other players free. Could have blocked this guy before moving there or whatever, or done other things. You know, even a 1 in 36 dodge can fail. So, now all of a sudden, something might happen here for Danton. Goes in for the claw mighty, hoping to get. Quite good, right? Versus a blocker's guy. Four dice in. 
you've got pretty decent odds of getting him down, so it's a pretty decent blitz to do. Problem is not being able to foul him. I guess you can just GFI foul him. He's already stunned. So. Oh, you can foul this guy. What a what a danger sidestep. Did not like that sidestep. Doesn't foul him. Oh, I think you've got to. Oh, you don't get the plus one from guard anymore. <laughs> but I think you've got to foul him. Because, you know, you're pretty far behind in this matchup. You've got to foul him and you're going to make that 1D as well. He's wrestled, right? You might have powered him. I think, I think, you've, I think Danton has to be not scared of making 1Ds and, like, adventurous plays in this game. Because he is behind. I mean... You know, Cheney's great, but if you've got him, you've got him for a reason. <laughs> so you're probably going to have to roll some dice to win. Or oh, a little cheeky pass. Can't do that. Can't do that in Blood Bowl 3, I tell you. This is uh, pretty unprotected. We're going to have to do a 3 2 through tackle, I think, to, to protect the ball. Fails him, he's got to re-roll. I mean, that Titan's ill, but flip me, that was, uh... That was real, like, if that, if that dodge had that, this could have been disaster. It was a bit risky, you know, could have played that a, a touch safer, I think. Like, even just this Witch Elf double GFing, right, would have been a lot safer than a 3-2. I know it's just two twos, but still, could have could have stopped after the first one potentially. Blitz in the blodger. That's the pal. He gets in front again. Now, of course, we're in danger of getting surfed because there's witch elves and oh no, he's sidestep and he's stand firm. So good. Now the zombies can roam around, not doing any anything because they're rubbish. Zombies are pretty great when, like you know, they're punching bags or fouling things, but uh, when they're actually asked to play Blood Bowl, they're pretty, they're pretty flipping terrible. <laughs> this is a really sad player to foul, right? One of the rookies, so you can't really foul them. So yeah, GFI can foul that one is bad. Kaz is in. And there's no argue the call, so he is sent off. But, you know, a good trade. Unlucky that it happened on the first one. You know, had that been me, he could have uh, fouled for about 12 times before he got caught. But caught on the first one, Apple gone. Um, for sport, because you know, trying to win at all costs now. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Yep, Blood Bowl 2, pretty great. Oh, wow, this is uh, oh, it didn't stand firm. Oh, yeah, okay, because he thought he was gonna score, and he did score. Interesting. Wow, that was some dice rolls there. Went for it, Chitara. Every, every, every uh, 40 year old person's now, and uh, <laughs> young person's back in the day. Favourite there. <laughs> Favourite Thundercat. <laughs> Man, I'm so used to pressing Q and E. Q and E was the best thing about is Q and E is literally the best thing about uh Blood Bowl three. It's so sad not being able to Q E around the pitch. So there we go, so we've got an early score, so like that's not great for Danton, right? Because he might get scored on a game this half. But at least he's got a chance. To, you know, get his drive done. And, uh... He's got a chance. But flip me. This this must be a bit what like people thought when they were facing me, right? Back in the day. Back in the day when I had a good team. Five guard. Three of them being blodge step is, is insane. Like, that's a really insane team. But he hasn't got a tackle upon it. So, he can't reliably remove anybody. <laughs> he can't reliably knock anybody over. <laughs> well, there's, there's a few blockless guys, right? There's a few blockless guys you can punch. 
I don't like not maximizing hits here. I get that he's scared about a blitz and stuff, but you've, you've got to maximize hits, right? Again, you're behind, you, you can't be giving up hits. You just can't be. This had to be a block. He had to be weaker against a blitz, and this had to be a block. And then blitz somebody else, like with tackle or whatever. Again, this is safer, okay, this is safer. But, you know. You've got to know where. And, like, I don't like this backfield cage here, right? Just keep the screen out in front. This is inviting pressure. This is inviting pressure. Ooh, I, know, I hate this. Okay, he's going over. That's not, I thought he was going back as well for a second. But like, you know, this is this is getting this guy hit, which is... It's good that you're dictating, like, his worst player getting hit. But also, like, you know, you can come around here and put some, some heat on. You can come on both sides. Basically split him. Maybe, maybe, maybe Danton's hoping to like you know rope a dope a little bit, right? Hope, hopefully that he overcommits. He commits for Maybe that was the idea. Maybe this was pur purposefully to try and get his team split so that he could then scoot past them. And spoke where it just doesn't fall, doesn't fall for it if that was the goal, and uh, just stays out in front. Hello, Pedro. Happy New Year to you too. Thanks. Yeah, so he just stays in front of the, the banks of uh, the elf screen banks. This is a little bit weaker, isn't it? But he does have sidestep there. And I mean, it's really hard for Danton to break through here. I guess he can give it to an edge for Wolf. To like potato. And maybe get the other wolves with him, but like it's. It's rough, isn't it? It's really, really rough. Oh god, so we're frenzy trapping ourselves. Oh no, he's hitting the other one. Okay, I was like, but still frenzy trapping ourselves. <laughs> oh, he pushed him to the wrong square! He just misclicked. He must misclick, right? He must have misclicked. I thought he was just going to try and get lucky blitzing this guy, but he, he just pushed him, literally just pushed him to the wrong square. If you pushed him into there, then they both got down. That was really weird. A misclick arena. Two guards in to hold the side. And now we've got like a full, a hard commit down one sideline. With only two turns to, to put it in afterwards is pretty terrible. When I say pretty terrible, <laughs> I mean absolutely diabolical. <laughs> it's not a good place to be in at all. So Spoke has to at least pay lip service to the idea of a switch, I think. I think he probably should have dodged the sidestepper first, right? Get the sidestep at like here or something first. Because that's a 1 in 36, whereas that's a 1 in 9. I guess you re-roll it to a 1 in 80. Does that 1D? Oh, just holds him. I, I, I want him like here or something just to make this a bit harder from the switch run. Nice open attack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's horrible, right? Like, look look at Spork's team. He's got, he's got five... He's got five... Well, three blodge guard... Blodge step guarders. Five dodge, like, five guard total. We've got two skilled up witches. It's a pretty nice team. A lot better than my team is. Not better than my team was. <laughs> but a lot better than my team is. Oh, wow, we're, we're going full Thomas T-stepping here. Full Thomas T-stepping. Ooh. I would have gone here, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you have gone here? I guess then if he gets hit, he's got to get hit by the wolf, and he doesn't want to get hit by the wolf. No, oh, I don't need to. My team is, is trash compared to what it was. It is absolute trash. See, look, and then this guy glitches through there. See what I'm saying? So if, if this uh, if this blood step was like here or something, that whole move gets a lot harder, right? So I did I did like, you know, the zombie ain't going to do fuck all, is he? 
So I quite like dodging away and getting him up here or something. So you're making like a screen with something. Oh, roll the one. Gets the pow. Yeah, I mean, no one was in range for the Dells, right? So. That's absolutely the correct thing to do, just pick this guy up, the only one who could score. I mean. So you can argue that Spork should have just had a scoring threat, right? Like this guy maybe should have just dodged away and just got into scoring range, so that then Danton would have had to have furiously protected the ball. Because like the counter score was looking pretty good. I mean that that was a crazy turn, right? Like just hitting Blood Stepper a million times and not doing anything. It was a hard, it was a tough ask to score. Though. And it's going to be tough on his next drive, so... Obviously got a 3D here. Oh, either. I won't I won't play these till the final. <laughs> and I don't think I'll get... I'm, I think, honestly, I think I'm losing in the first round. Genuinely. Does nothing. You do not. Maybe he should have fouled with that wrestler, right? I don't know if he could have done, but. <laughs> Double GFIs to foul with him. Uses a reroll and fails the second one. <laughs> Dice. <laughs> that was a hell of a good play to foul, right? So maybe he just could have worked more at trying to get that. Uh... I don't know what it feels so we could get another, another hit with tackle, but maybe he should have uh, just, you know, worked hard to get the foul on him. Yeah, I saw that Steve unlucky. Really, I mean, brutal draw right Hancock with uh, a pretty nice high elf team is a nightmare for Lizards. Absolute nightmare. There are a bunch of teams that you would have had a much better chance against. That was one of the worst. <laughs> that was literally one of one of the worst possible. Maybe the worst. I well, know. I guess these were worse. <laughs> I guess Spock's Dark Elves were worse. Hello, Dimmy. This is not math. This is Era BB. You used to be in this, you know, Dimmy, but you left us. You left us. Eliod is in. Hancock is in. And you left us. Yeah, congratulations to me. Nobs all P. Worst team in Blood Bowl 3. Literal worst team in Blood Bowl 3. In, in all three seasons. <laughs> in all three seasons, they've been the worst team in Blood Bowl 3. Just quietly. Oh, lovely KO, right? Because he got the both down. So he couldn't... Uh, if he got a, if he got a push here, he couldn't hit him again. So well, I guess he couldn't hit him again. But still, really nice, really nice to get a kill. And he gets to punch him, gets the pal. He gets a Cheney Blitz, doesn't he? He gets the rare, the, the lesser spotted Cheney Blitz now, because there's nowhere for these to size up too dodgily. Not not a lot of players now for Spork, right? Down to nine players. So. Maybe he should have made two little pockets or something to, to... Oh my god, he dodged away. Dude, you can't dodge away. I mean, wow. I mean, he can, but... I think you shouldn't. <laughs> I think if you're worried about where he's going to end up, don't do the blitz, right? If you're worried about where you're going to end up, just blitz with a fleshy. <laughs> you know how to handle your knobs. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, there's an element of truth in the data, you know, in that, like, it's just showing what normal people... What happens with normal people, right? 
Right, this is a this is a bit of a rowdy foul, isn't it? Already down nine players, just goes for the Cheney foul and kills him. <laughs> okay, yeah, board, but <laughs> amazing. That has seeded a lot of space, however. So um, and he gets to mighty blow this guy. So pretty good turn for Danton actually. He doesn't want to strike too hard down the uh, down the left here, but he wants to uh, he wants to take like oh, dodging again. He wants to take the space. I think he should have piled in. Right, I think this guy could have come in there. Like up there, get some more in. You know, like put push in here, but like not. Do you know what I mean? Like get something in here, get a bit of penetration. Because just going here is just putting you there. <laughs> Whereas if you've got a bit more, you know, then now he's going to go here. Whereas now he's just going to, you know, he's not. You're not getting penetration. You just, if you're going to be here, you might as well be in the middle. That's what I'm saying. If you've got something in front of you, then there's a reason to be over this side. But if you're not going to, if you're not going to put anything in between these, then you probably just want to stay in the middle still. Yeah, well, that's the thing. The, the, the data just tracks average people, right? So if it's hard to get the best out of a team, average people are going to do not so well with it, and good players can still do you know, just as good. And also, like, you know, Underworld, for example, could be way better at beating bad players than good players. So they'll have kind of inflated stats because everybody's bad and stuff like that, or an easier-to-play team. And so, so, you know, it's... The data on normal people <laughs> is uh, probably not as relevant for good people as the data on good people. Interesting, isn't it? But then, of course, good people are much more likely to play bad people than they are to play good people. And then, you know, so, you know, if you've got a better matchup versus the good players or the bad matchups, then. That might not be worth it if you've got a worse matchup versus the bad players and the common matchups, right? Like, so many. This season, everyone's using Undead. Every season, loads of people use Orcs. So, it makes sense to have a team that does well against Orcs just because so many people use them and stuff like that. Hey, Sadie, you know what I mean. Oh, it follows. So, we're fine trading blows. I don't like putting in the blood stepper there, right? Just put in the put in the a normal guy, so you've lost less in that engagement. It's not a good re not a good engagement for you three versus one over there, leaving you five versus whatever this is. Nine, leaving you five versus nine. So yeah, he's, and then he just pull pull that guy away. Yeah, he realizes that. So you know this could have been the blood stepper, right? The blood stepper could have been here, much stronger than having this shitty lineman here. Oh, gets the three-two. That would have been hugely weak. Glorious dice rolls by Spork there. We could see a, a frenzy blitz here. What he could have done is. Could put in two players here and blitz there and like chain chain them out and stuff to to get through here, but it would be hard. He hasn't got that many players, but at least he would have. It would have been cool. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have ended up much further forward. Yeah, and team value. Yeah, like most teams play less than five games right or about five games or something like the the mean number of games or something was five so like most teams play less than five games and then obviously so that that affects the win rate and everything it's all super interesting so you know yeah there might be loads of there might be loads of games by orcs and the stats but then it could be that there's Less orcs on ITV, not that that's probably true, but it's possible, isn't it? 
Yeah, the, tats, the stats don't tell much of a story. Well, the stats by themselves don't. This is quite a... Yeah, I think you 1D here, right? And then dodge out and come up here. Maybe blitz out if you can. Yeah, so he does do the 1D. Got the size stuff. I think he's just got to dodge, right? Just putting on his hat. Problem is, by putting those two in to make the hit... Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> this is the problem, isn't it? Like, this is the problem with the team. Like, it's just... There's just so many good players. For the Dells. Edge 4 wraps around. Stun was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> that was just an instant 2D on the ball. It's still a 2D on the ball. Okay. Because this this has got jump up. So yeah, even without that, it's still just an easy 2D on the ball. I guess it's not a 2D into 2D, but gets the power anyway. Was it like a 75% hit, wasn't it? So. Couple ball loose. Ooh. Yeah, I think you pick it up here. Did he, did he? Has he got another one? No. Sure, surely, like he had another square of movement, didn't he? You can't. You, the, the the controls in this are terrible. So you literally like you've got to watch the whole turn. You can't go back one action. He was here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could have got to this one. Next to the fleshy. Yeah, so we could have picked it up, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It says going for it and then another go. It says he did two. Oh, is he minus movement? He's minus movement. Oh my god. So he is right. I thought it was weird they didn't try to pick up. Yeah, he's moved plus. Okay, well, there you go. That explains it. Flip me. Maybe this one could have uh, tried like a 4 2 to then double G if I and pick it up. Like, I really want to pick it up with so few players and him lacking tackle. I really want to try and get it picked up this turn, if I am. Spock there. This is a rough blitz, isn't it? Um, <laughs> gets the gets the one D power. Gets the edge four pick up. Right, so now, play here. I, do you know the play I quite like? Is, um... Is not... Not possible. <laughs> Disregard. Well, I had, I had a nice idea. But it didn't work out. Nope, realised that he had to do that, so I got the twos there. Yep. I mean, easy blitz. Oh, again, I, I want to pick up. And I know somebody else might go and pick it up, but just pick it up on her, right? Get it picked up. and then, uh, I know, like, it's probably not optimal turn ordering or whatever. Oh, no. Oh, no. So probably what's better is... Like, it, it wasn't terrible to not pick up the witch. I would just probably want it on the witch, even though she's wrestling stuff. But... Surely, the best thing to do is if she doesn't pick it up, which it's okay, right? To have somebody next to the ball, you don't want to just end your turn there. If like if she fails to pick up, but it's a one in thirty-six. This guy could have just held the ball, like you know, sideline even, right? He could have even sidelined it because he's got sidestep or like here, and then this guy could have tried to th this guy could have tried a two plus to tag the tackler, and then this guy can three two away. 
something like that. This guy could have run backwards, right? Run backwards. Then he could have gone back as well. I really don't hate, I really don't like this pass. I know it's just a 2 plus pass and a 3 plus catch, but I just didn't like it. Yeah, no, I just, I would, but yeah, exactly, yeah. It's turn 15, needs to score, so just, so just, just make it safe, right? Just like, this is the sort of thing you'd do if it was 1-1 one, one and you wanted to counter score or something, but you don't need a counter score, you just need to make it safe. So, this, what did this Witch Elf do? 1, 2, 3, and then, she's got a lot of movement left, so she could have gone like 4, 5, 6, 7 or something, right? And screened it, and then, he could have picked up and had like a screen from the tackler and then tried these these dodges and stuff. This dodge. I mean, it would have still failed with a double one. <laughs> it would have still failed. But at least you're not just voluntarily putting the down the putting the ball on the ground. I think you've got to keep the ball on a on a blodge stepper. You know, when you have a blodge stepper and they're trying to score. Thanks, Dwight. So we're going for the pick up with the edge four and the handoff, or just a GFI. He can just GFI to here. He's made a cage, hasn't he? So in that case, if you're going to do that, you'll move this guy first, right? Oh wow! <laughs> so I guess he's right. So this is interesting because. There's two ways of looking at it, isn't there? This is covering for the 1 in 9 fail. He's doing a great job of covering for the 1 in 9 fail. Like, an amazing job, right? He's screening with this guy. He's, he's stopping him getting out of 2+. He's basing this guy. He's screening with everything else. This guy is in a great square. However, he's a scoring threat, isn't he? And I guess this, this ghoul is also a scoring threat. I was thinking your only other scoring threat was this uh, white if you fail the pickup. So... I didn't hate just moving him forward to be like you know, you know a, a more dangerous scoring threat first, um, but like he isn't a super good square against the failure. The problem is, I think if you fail, you probably just lose, right? Like that's the problem. The problem is, you are mitigating the failure, but then if you fail, do you just lose the game anyway? And the answer might be yes. Did she out move him? Oh. Pushes him closer. Into range, in fact. <laughs> so with a lucky ball bounce or something here. Okay. <laughs> nope. Oh, punts it. I, I always hate punting. I literally always hate punting. I always hate punting and I never think of doing it. You know, because having the ball and a blodger, pretty good. If he has the ball and the blodger, then this guy has to, um... You have to, what, assist with the ghoul, and then blitz him with the tackler, and then your edge four runs out, picks it up, passes it to the white. If you throw it far, far enough away, the white just can't get it. Whereas now the white's got to run up and pass it to the edge four. Which isn't too crazy, right? Like, that's you're just cutting out the middleman there. So I think it probably is better to hold on to it. Like, you've still got a power you even, you know, even tackle and stuff. I guess if you just get it out of range, it's good, right? I, I don't know how, where it's scattered. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you get it in one of these three squares then he just literally can't reach it, so... But, I don't know where he aimed it. Interesting. So it deals with one tackle zone. <laughs> Kaz is in. <laughs> And every elf is in a tackle zone, so he can he can attempt the pass in safety. I say safety, like six plus intercepts instead of five plus intercepts. Makes the pass. There's only a five plus. 
Oh, makes the catch. Oh, and then defeated by tackle. Oh man, and he blitzed the side stepper away. He could have blitzed the. He, he could have blitzed the. Uh, he could have blitzed the witch away. Didn't he blitz the wrong one away? Like he literally blitzed the wrong one away. This uh, this this school could have come in and blitzed. Or maybe he blitzed somebody else and he just blocked. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look, it's over now and nobody cares what happens in the last turn, so... <laughs> Let's go back and see what happened. Yeah, so he blitzed. So he just blocked. And he blitzed. He just blitzed the wrong player. Ah, but he hasn't got guard. So he'd have had to put in... Yeah, so he couldn't, could he? He just couldn't. He couldn't hit the witch. Because he, he's he got guard, but he's only got one guard. So he literally couldn't hit the witch. Could he have got round to stop the sidestep square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could have hit him and... Uh, not really. No, that was just unlucky, wasn't it? There's nothing he could have done. Nothing he could have done. Wasn't a crazy play in the end, was it, for Danton to score? 3-5-3-2-2-2. Three, three, two, two, two. And another two as well to avoid the intercept, basically. Which, you know, I would never do, but <laughs> my opponents would. <laughs> it was certainly doable in the end, but, uh, you know, I think it was better to have just had kept the ball. I always think it's better to have kicked the ball, pretty much. Um, he was in range. You, yeah, yeah, but yeah, maybe shouldn't have pushed the wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right, Spock? I couldn't. I always lose. I always lose to stupid hail marys. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, oh, well, Cheney gets the start. Gets the man of the match for dying. Um, and there you go. Right. Um, so there you go. Congratulations. Spork Bear, a big win over Danton, who drew versus me and beat Elliot, one of the uh, one of the big threats to Elf teams, and now Spork Bear is through to the quarterfinals with a very very powerful Elf team, uh, Dark Elf team coming from Division Three. So there you go, glorious. I'm pretty sure it's Division Three. Is it Division Two? No, yeah, Division Three. Yep. So there you go. Uh, commiserations, Danton. Congratulations, Spork Bearer, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.